Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First High Visions. My name is Q. Welcome if you are new. You already know what it is if you are returning. Love is love is love. I wanted to do a general reading to see what's coming and going out, going on with our beloveds. For some of you who may celebrate Thanksgiving, I want to see what type of uh, energy you will be encountering during this holiday. I want to tap and tune in, pick up on the energies of my cards. For anyone who may be new, welcome. This will be a general reading. My spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Very simple. We are more than just our sun sign. So if the reading does not resonate, check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, check your Mercury, check your Mars. Just check your other placements. <laughs> you know, this is also time. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, it's exactly the divine time and intended for you all to do so. I am an empath, I'm intuitive, and I am clairaudient, which is why I incorporate music and the songs and the cards and the messages tend to just blend very beautiful. Right now we have Roger, and the name of the song is I Want to Be Your Man. So some of you feminines may have someone professing their love during this holiday season that they want to be your man. They want to take it to the next level. They don't want to wait no more. They don't want to pause. They want to take action. They want to be your man. They don't want to play no more. They don't want to be someone you're just dating. So we're going to tap into it. And this card is standing up. So let's see what this is. So look at this. We have the five of pentacles. So this could be someone that may have felt like they're out in the cold. May you, maybe you left them out in the cold. And maybe this is someone that may have been from your past that left you out in the cold. This person wants to embrace you again. You know, I'm seeing this violin. So it's almost as if there was some sort of uh, sad ending. And someone is kind of trying to come back to serenade you, you know, and it's also reminding, you know, kind of cluing me in to listen to this, to this particular song, you know, maybe they're coming back and you're going to be like, okay, here we go again. You know, they're singing me another sob song, but this person really wants to be your man. And I feel like they're going to put in the effort. If you look, there's like a wreath or some sort of like, um, this looks almost like, uh, some sort of, um, give me the words, divine spirit. It's almost like they've, you know, arranged, you know, this very beautiful setting to kind of serenade you. And it does look like you are going to fall for it, you know, because you're like embracing this person in a passionate kiss. And right now we have Take Me playing by Tidra Moses featuring Raphael Sadiq. And the name of this is Take Me. So this person does seem to be taking you, you know, to ecstasy, you know, or attempting you, attempting to, you know. But I feel like you want someone to take you. Like maybe you're saying like, take me, take me with you, you know. But um, yeah, the, this seems like this is someone that you have a history with. Because I see these pentacles, you know, and the five. I do feel like there will be communication. Um, I do feel like maybe there's even an apology if this someone is from your past. Let me turn this down so it doesn't interrupt. But let's see. So before we delve any deeper into the reading, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. We'll see what comes out in the reading. But I do feel like someone is going to be reaching out, communicating to you that they wish to make, you know, they want to be your man. They want to take the relationship to the next level. Um, and they don't, want, they don't want to play around anymore. And I feel like for you, you're going to be like, well, take me. Take me then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, I want to be your man. And you're going to be like, well, come on and take me. Come on. You can have me. Um, so let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. Let me get a couple more shuffles. Before we do, I'm going to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, and our most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the ink, the number synchronicities, vibrations of my cards, and so it is. So mode it be Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So this number five pentacles is like a bonus message for you. I'm gonna put that right there. There. Hopefully I won't forget that's there because we're going to clarify that as well. So the bottom of the deck is your overall energy and we have the magician. So I feel like you are manifesting, um, you know, someone to come in and take you, you know, someone to come in and kind of like 
just kind of swoop you off your feet. You want to be serenaded. You want to be treated well. I feel like this is something, you know, you've been manifesting really hard um, on, you know, perhaps maybe even coming back into, you know, union with someone. Um, I do feel like someone is really trying to serenade you, trying to win back your trust, regain your trust. Um, this is something you've been manifesting and working behind the scenes. Maybe you were dealing with someone in the past who was very manipulative and you felt like they, you know, kind of manipulated you emotionally, mentally, um, and even psychologically, like just manipulated your energy. Um, they would have this, you know, um, you know, bad habit of kind of like abandoning you and then coming back um, with this violin here. You know, that's like, you know, most people will play like air violins when it's like, oh, God, sing me another sob story. So it's almost as if you have some sort of history with this person where um, maybe they took you for granted because the name of the song is Take Me. And it's 111 on the clock right now, 555 on this clock. So the time is 111 and this clock is 555. So I do feel like with that 111 is the three. So maybe there was some sort of third party. And this is why you felt abandoned, left out in the cold. And this person's going to come back and try to you know, try to sing you some sort of sob story because I get sob story from this. And this is indicating um, some level of manipulation of energy. So maybe this person does know how to pull on your strings, your heart strings. And, you know, you might need to take precaution uh, being as though that was 555 on the clock that 15 reduces to six. So this is about you remaining in harmony. Um, this five and this one definitely is, again, the vibration of six. So you have to stay in, you know, kind of like, like an emotional equilibrium. Equilibrium. Hey, Katara, are you trying to say hi? Um, you have to stay in emotional equilibrium so as not to get taken for granted. So be mindful of that. So this energy here, um, you could be manifesting something new or this could be indicating that you have someone that's particularly um, manipulative. Like they could be very manipulative, know how to manipulate energy, know how to, you know, kind of like play on your heartstrings. So do not allow yourself to be taken because the name of this song is Take Me. So I feel like maybe somebody took you for granted in the past. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So there is someone who's like, they're, they're like, you know, tantalized by your ass. Some of y'all got a big ass fatty. You know, they like touching it, groping it, squeezing it. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that you may, you know, be very familiar with. You know, this is someone who's kind of like, um, again, you know, Someone you could be manifesting that has this very strong, passionate attraction towards you physically. I do see there could be some sort of victory or some sort of breakthrough in this communication um, or even in this connection overall. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, there's going to need to there's going to have to be. Um, there's going to have to be some sort of conversation we have right now. Try it again. So this is somebody from your past trying to come back and try again. And this is someone who has like they're fixated on your ass. Like they have some sort of obsessive obsession over your behind. You know, maybe you know this, you know, but this person loved like touching it, looking at it, squeezing on it. Maybe when you were intimate, this is like they love to hit it from the back. You know what I'm saying? They like to have you turn around and ride them so that they can squeeze and grope on your ass. Um, you know, this is going to be X-rated and it's going to be spicy. I'm just giving you the full warning because that's the energy. <laughs> Sometimes I be calm, cool and collected. But as of late, it's like the energy I'm picking up on the energy. So this person's coming in and I do see here like. Like, you know, with this bird and this bunny, like the divine is almost saying like, y'all, this could lead to like some level of like fertility, like you could get pregnant. So please be mindful. Um, and this is also saying, I feel like this is someone from your past because there's a sense that there could be like a rebirth, a rekindling of, you know, love of a connection. Um, this person is trying again, according to Aaliyah and Timbaland, rise in power, beautiful queen. But this is um, something that you all uh, could have potentially been manifesting or they could be manifesting you back and I was already picking that up with this you know violin sitting there on the wall it's like this person is coming back with the same old song that's kind of energy I was picking up on so let's see what's what else is coming in for our beloved Scorpios this came out with force so much so that it, it, it literally bent my card so this person is like literally going to just pop up out of nowhere maybe they're going to like hit you with a bunch of ultimatums and you're going to feel like damn what do I do so we have here the five of chalices look at all these fives so this absolutely is someone and that kind of did you dirty. Um, you may have felt left out in the cold, abandoned. You know, you may have felt like this person did not value you. Like you was just kind of like, 
used and abused. I feel this person's coming back and trying to right their wrongs. With this try again, you see how he's kind of like kneeling down. So it's almost as if this, this person is coming back and asking for forgiveness because they may have, you know, realized, you know, the error in their ways. And maybe you had something to do with that. But you also have to be mindful that the magician is a manipulator. They know how to manipulate energy, water, fire, earth, air, and ether. So this person could be coming back um, being very skilled, you know, being skillful in an attempt to get you back, in an attempt to um, court you, to get you to fall for the okie doke. And I feel like that's why the divine is telling you to like, you know, be be mindful. You, you know, you stay in harmony. Um, you remain in harmony, in balance. Because it looks like, you know, he's even gifting her these flowers as a gesture of, um, you know, an apology or as in a gesture to ask for forgiveness. But these two fives um, reduce to ten. And so I do feel like there was a sudden ending. Someone may have gone in a different direction, chose someone else, abandoned you, and now they're doubling back. And they're singing you this, you know, sad song, this sorry, I want to be a man, I want to try again. Because both of these, it's like there's this embrace, and then there's this, you know, this, this attempt um, at them, you know, trying to court you again, trying to get you to hear them out, to, to um, feel whatever it is, um, you know, that they're feeling in this moment. But remember, you know, the energy is, um, it definitely has to be, you need to use discernment. Um, so let's tap, tap and tune and see what else is coming in. So this is the fool. So don't be a fool for anyone. You know, you got to be very mindful not to just jump into anything because this fool, you know, what makes it very, um, dangerous is this person is like taking this trip this long voyage but he's packing light so not only does he not know um the potential threats that's out there he's not prepared for him he's not even prepared for the weather change he's wearing this light jacket this light hat so it's like he's packed light so this is the energy that cannot really be reliable it's just like they 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 just kind of take risks without calculating them so you know this is you know that foolish energy so don't be foolish remain in harm Harmony and balance and in alignment and do what's best for you. Um, we have Jay-Z and this is called Love for Free featuring Rel. So it's like don't give your love for free. Make someone work for it. Don't just let them come in, woo you, sing you a sob story, and then you're back. They're back in your bed. They're back hitting it from the back or whatever. Because with this right here, this manipulation that they could be doing, they're looking to get something for free, meaning they're not working for it. A couple of bouquets of flowers is not enough. Change behavior is what you need to be looking for. Because I feel like in the past, you gave a lot of love and you didn't receive it. So now it's like, now that you know your worth, now that you know your love language, you have to make sure that somebody's coming back to speak that love language. Because I do see someone's trying to come back because they want to try again. But it could possibly be because wherever they left, whatever they left you for, it didn't work out. And so now they're doubling back to you. And we do see the snake. So that would indicate they got snaked. They got duped. They got played the same way they may have played you because they attracted what they were. So it's like when you putting out that negative energy, you're going to attract people that are also going to put that in there. And it was just 1313. And that 1313 reduces to 4444 4, 4, 4 reduces to 8. So this person is seeing you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Like in the limelight, um, they may see you getting recognition. Um, they may see you as, um, you know, getting a lot of attention. Maybe they're watching your social media. So this person's coming back because maybe now they're having this grand epiphany that you are, in fact, like wish fulfillment. You're someone that, you know, they may need to, you know, come back and try again. This person is willing to um, love you. So let's see. Okay, something flew out. So we have the Queen of Wands. So with this love for free, I feel like your person could have been caught up in a scenario where they got um, caught up by some sort of... Um, you know, some sort of mistress, because this Queen of Wands to me is always like mistress vibes, the other woman, that third party, that party of four and five. This is that that chick that's like, she loves seducing people. She loves taking a motherfucker's man. She feels empowered by that. She uses passion and lust and her beauty to lure people in, to seduce, to entice. And so this is what your person may have gotten distracted from, because the name of this is love for free. So they was getting the sex from this person without having to invest anything. And that's that's why they were able to like abandon you because it was just effortless. They could get the ass. They could get whatever they wanted. And it was because this 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 feminine energy was incubus, succubus type of energy. So they were kind of like, you know, feeding off of 
you know, your person sexually, but they were also in a competition, secret competition with you because they knew about you. This woman knows about the other woman and they don't give a damn. So this energy was definitely like giving up the goods for free, so to speak. There was no investment. There was absolutely no relationship per se, because this person, you know, we already saw it was a foolish energy. So they, this wasn't the only woman, neither were you. There were other suitors. There were other, you know, um, potential interest so she was giving up the goods for free she was like you know laying it down for free and that's what this person got tantalized by and she um and this person was you you can see this masculine is ruled you know by their phallus he's holding up this wand you know this wand is a very felicious energy so there was like a lot of hot passionate sex they would do like spontaneous spontaneous sex like they could be you know at a grocery store and they'll both go to the bathroom lock the door and just have sex or they could be driving in mid traffic and they would just do things for the excitement you know what i'm saying and so that's what kind of lured this person in you see how she's rapid like she's quickly getting dressed they in the middle of no fucking wear so it's like this is what she would do and this is what kind of enticed this masculine um and they you know you see this chain here i mean these um these um handcuffs so it's like this is what she did you know she used sex to keep your person bound to them you know and that's why i was picking up incubus succubus energy and so right now we have um funky child and we have lord of the underground so this is a very funky um you know she has a very funky energy she's very childish um she could be very me 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 i i i i want and as i said with these um handcuffs she could have done some sort of binding spells some sort of spells to like separate you from this person um we have on the bottom of the deck the ten of wands so see that this is the energy like this this caused some sort of like ending. I feel like this person that you were dealing with absolutely did not have any type of mind control. Like they weren't in control of their phallus. So they would easily be enticed by this energy. This is the same type of energy kind of luring them in. And I feel like there was a straw that broke the camel's back with you where you said enough is enough. I'm not going to be, you know, mistreated. I'm not going to be treated like that second or that third when I've been here putting in that effort, the time I done bore your motherfucking children and you treating me like the side piece, nigga, peace. So this shit right here was going on behind your back, but you knew without knowing. This person could have had a child out of wedlock. Some of y'all could have been pregnant and found out that your, um, you know, your children's father, you know, had you su set up in or stuck in some sort of like ghetto twin scenario where they done had you pregnant and the side piece pregnant at the same time. So we have funky child here. So maybe that's, you know, some of y'all have this, you know, this pain due to the fact that somebody got someone else pregnant outside of the marriage. Um... And you can see this frog. So it's like this person just be like, they're unreliable. You know, one minute they're here, next minute they're not. So this person had a history of just, you know, kind of like sneaking off, dipping off, ghosting you. And it was because whenever they would ghost you and you wouldn't hear from them, they would be with this other woman. And I feel like that's what finalized everything. That was like, this was what cemented the deal with you in terms of ending this toxic ass connection because you knew that they were busy creeping and sleeping with somebody else so they want a new beginning with you a new chance to rectify to connect to you know try again so we got a couple of messages here so the first message we have the eight of chalices so this is what you did you said enough of no love you chucked up them deuces and you kept it pushing because you knew your self-worth. You knew what you brought to the table. And ultimately, it was like, you know, you knew that ultimately you you had to practice self-love. You know what I'm saying? If you sat there and continued, you know, taking this person's shit, then you ultimately was no, you, you know what I'm saying? You was just as guilty as they were. Because it's like, you know, you knew that you teach people how to treat you. So this was you, you know, kind of like saying, you know what? Um, you know, you see how she's like we're like she's um restraining herself or she's kind of keeping herself from this situation hold on one moment my bad you know having a kitten is like having a child you have to literally watch her she's in here tearing up everything it's aggravating because i'm so anal about stuff and it's like everything i see she's like just digging and scratching oh my god but i love her she's big but this eight of chalices see how she's kind of like she's um 
she's kind of like resisting this person's you know attempts because it's like at the end of the day she knows her worth and value she done walked away because she was pouring into an empty vessel so he's coming back like i said with the sob story and and a part of her feels like it's just manipulation it's just emotional manipulation him singing her another sob story you know and he's pulling out all the stops to try to convince her that he wants her back whether that's you know playing music that you too loose to listen to or sending you video links to songs whatever it is it's like this person is trying really hard hard to you know to get you back and I feel like there's a sense of resistance because you're trusting your intuition and you're using discernment in this regard and with the big daddy king this is called I get the job done so I feel like you already completed the cycle you got this particular job whatever this karmic lesson was I feel like you've completed the cycle when you completely decided to walk away and so with the, that's why the divine is telling you you have to use discernment and you have to, you know, implement the things you've learned. Wisdom is when you apply the knowledge that you were able to act, you know, to obtain throughout your journey, you know, from your experience. So with this person, you're using discernment and you're trusting what you're feeling, your, your feelings, your emotions, the energy this person's given off. He's coming off pretty hard. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of coming on too strong. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's doing everything and I feel like he's growing, um, irritable because it's like you know maybe these you know these little attempts you know the flowers the serenading the music and all of that it's like you know in the past maybe this is what he was able to do he was able to kind of like you know string you along say you little say a little something something have you stuck on this emotional roller coaster ride and now it's just more like you know you look at the body language it's like you're giving them the opportunity to speak their truth to say what they need to say but ultimately like you know you're, you're kind of resisting here it looks like resistance this is the moon um so this energy here it's like, you know, look at this, you know, without knowing that they're hiding something, you know what I'm saying? You know that this person was, you know, occupying two beds, yours and another woman. You know that this person is kind of like, you know, hiding the truth from you. And that's why this water looks like it's about to envelop them and like, you know, wash them away because it's like, you know, there's deep secrets and there was deep pain, deep hurt, deep, um, deep rooted lies that this person has been hiding from you and i feel like you've listened to your intuition and that's why you're resisting because you know somewhere in the background this you know woman is still there you know what i'm saying that's why she's showing up with the queen of wands you know she's still in the picture this is the heart of the matter energy so it's like you know she's still in the picture this person is not doing enough to convince you otherwise and with this i get the job done this person's just wanting to get you back you know they want to be your man and then they want to still be able to run around like they were in the past and i feel like now because you have a sense of self-love self-worth self-value you're not going to be as open to just receive you know to reconciling with someone um, as you may have been in the past because you've learned by getting burnt you know what I'm saying this person has abandoned you multiple times and has treated you like you as an option so next we have the ten of wands you're releasing you're letting that burden go you're no longer willing to sacrifice yourself your time your respect your money your energy on someone who does not know how to treat you this ten of wands is showing me that this person hasn't learned anything they're still bumping uglies with this side piece and, you know, they come around when the two of them are at odds. But look at this. Remember, there is this handcuff there. So they can't go anywhere because this bitch done put us up uh, some type of love spell, some type of freeze spell, you know, freezer spell where they can freeze the energies together to keep them bound and stuck to them. So it's like, you know, this person may be able to wiggle their way um, from that person, from the karmic a little bit, but then they almost always go back. So it's like, it's, it's, you know, this cause you're feeling the energy of this person. And that's why you're saying I'm done. This 10 pretty much says you learned all the lessons you needed to. And that's why you're not going backwards. You're going forwards, upwards and onwards to be exact. So they could have all of these little sexual sex capades with this karmic, but you're pushing forward. This person may have a lot of fantasies about you, about the intimacy that you all shared, the love they, they definitely 
definitely enjoyed it. But I feel like you put a stop to that once you knew this bitch was in the picture. And when you realized she was in the picture, that's when you stopped. You completely turned cold. You were celibate. You didn't give up the goods because you was like, you know what? Uh, my body is my vessel. And I'd rather be celibate than to give anything to someone who's giving their Johnson or their, you know, their, their, their uh, <laughs> vagina, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Virginia, to Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Alicia, Sean, and Patrick, whatever the hell. You know what I mean. But it's like, this This is what you chose to do. It's like, you chose to help hold back. You chose not to, um, you know, and with, I get the job done. It's like, you You was like, look, I could, you know, this is like self-pleasure. You was like, I'll do, me, I could do me better. I, I know what I like, what I, you know what I'm saying? So with, I just get the job done. You was able to get the job done on your own with no complaints. Um, for a lot of y'all, because you just simply wasn't putting yourself in this line of fire where somebody was giving up the goods to someone else. Because with this moon right next to it and this person mirroring, it's like two energies. So it's like this person was being, you know, doing the same things with you they was doing with the mistress. You know, and this mistress has a very tight grip, tight hold on this masculine energy. It could also be a feminine who has a very tight grip, tight hold on, you know, another masculine or it could be a masculine that has another tight hold tight grip on a feminine so you know this is that type of energy the bottom of the deck we have the nine of chalices so you're you're already fulfilled on your own you already know your worth you taking care of yourself you know what i'm saying this is like you are being selfish because you've been selfless in the past and this person's coming back you know and they wanting to you know kind of offer you the world i feel like this is a wish fulfillment somebody coming in that's going to be like very playful that's going to be very interesting interested in hearing your story but also very interested in and in, in bringing a sense of lightheartedness to this picture because they know what you've been through with this ten of wands it's like they know you've been through hell and back and you've survived it and so they want to bring some sort of love we have loose rap playing by Aaliyah so I do feel like this person is like you know, he, they know that you were dealing with people who would just talk because they had lips, make a bunch of empty promises and never and never keep them. They know that you was dealing with someone very manipulative. So this person is like trying to do everything to kind of like gain your trust. They're going to do everything to like, you know, serenade you, um, speak your love language, spend time, do playful things, be adventurous. You know, this is that type of energy. So I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment. Someone may see you as someone that they can have. Um, a very uh, stable, sturdy, committed type of connection. Like they feel like you will emotionally, um, you just emotionally fulfill them. They feel satisfied. So this is beautiful. All right, I like that. I like that energy. So let's see what else we got. Let's let's pick up on some other energy for these beautiful Scorpios. Let me see what my baby's got going on. I will all as well. I want to say to my soul, sister, lady Scorpius, happy belated, beautiful. You are gorgeous. I love you. I love your energy. I love your reading. Everyone go check out Lady Scorpius. She is dope. You know, her readings are very, very, um, very powerful. She's an intuitive. She, she picks up on the energy of the cards. Um, she's a dope reader. So check her out, Lady Scorpius. Um, I'm going to see if I could put a link in my description box but she's really dope i hope you enjoyed your soul return soul sister divine spirit of living light let's see what else is coming and going out going on we're going to pull some messages from um the dark grimoire because i just want to see what this um i'm going to pick up on that shadow energy these cards are very dark hence the name <laughs> you know but i want to see what's hiding behind the scenes you know what i'm saying and even if it's not hiding behind the scenes, it could be hiding right in plain sight. So let's see what you all have to watch out for. Because we got loose wrap. So loose wrap, you know, what that means is that's like, you know, somebody kind of like just running game on you. You know, somebody that's just kind of like, you know, trying to um pull you in to the rapture, as I call it. Suck you back into the rapture, you know. So let's see what's coming in, going out, going on. All right, I feel good with that. I hope this is not too loud. I apologize for your ears. I just like to really do a good shuffle on my cards just so we could get the actual messages, you know. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. This is going to clarify the five of pentacles. So we have here, we have the knight of wands. So what did I say? This is that person that was always playing the game with your heart in and out unreliable. This is that person that was always singing that sob story. 
You know what I'm saying? Remember I was talking about the air violin, like, Ooh, no, no, no. Like, sing me another sob story. Like, that's what they was doing. And in the past, y'all fell for that shit. Y'all was falling for it left and right. And that's why it was like, this caused a lot of pain and hurt. And it was because you was dealing with a master man, like, manipulator. This person knew you like the back of their hands. You know what I'm saying? And right now we have um, Dr. Octagon, which is cool, Keith, and this is called technical difficulties. So there was a lot of difficulties in this situation. And the technical difficulties were that this person was non-committal. That's a technical difficulty if you're in a relationship with someone is that they're non-committal or they have commitment issues or they're a commitment phobe or they like to have a wandering eye. They like to be they don't like to be tied down and bound to a relationship. So you was dealing with somebody who was ruled by their phallus, who like to be a free spirit, who like to come and go wherever the wind blows them. They like to lay the pipe down whenever, whomever, whithever, whoever, wherever. Like I said, with this energy, just getting them quickies in whenever. You know what I'm saying? You think they going out, you know, to go get some groceries. Meanwhile, they hitting up the side piece talking about, yo, meet me at such and such parking lot. And they doing a quickie and then she rushing back home to her husband or her man because they both creeping and sleeping on the side. And he's sitting here, you know, playing the field, playing the game. And they did this for a long time. They did this to you for years. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all was going through this for a long time. This was a committed relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because I see that there's like, it looks like some sort of like, um... Um, archway like this is something that you would create for like a marriage ceremony or an engagement ceremony or something like that so this person knows how to like woo you you know that's why I was saying they knew what to say they knew how to pull on your emotional strings especially with this magician right here so I do feel like you know especially with this violin they would just kind of serenade you with the same old bullshit until you felt you know until you like broke free from the illusion you know what I'm saying that's why the divine was telling you to like pay attention to your intuition and to remain in harmony because because when you're in harmony and you're in alignment, then you could see through the bullshit. So we have here the three of chalices. So this is what you have uh, someone coming in, wanting a reunion. You know what I'm saying? This three of cups is really also like what you was involved in. You know, that third party scenario, that party of four and five, having some other chick on the side and you thinking you the main one. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like this person is wanting a reunion, wanting to reconcile, wanting to come back. Because remember, we had I want to be your man. So now they're coming back because maybe something didn't work out. Maybe they done got into an argument with this broad, you know what I'm saying, or with this this dude, you know what I'm saying, the, the karmic. And, and now they're trying to double back. But it's like they're still carrying that person's energy. They didn't completely sever the ties with that person. I feel like you are using discernment, you know what I'm saying? Because this third party situation really, you know, it cuts you deep and, and it caused a lot of difficulties in, you know, not only the relationship, but maybe even, your, you know, it took a couple blows to your self-esteem, your confidence even. So why is this magician here for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? Why is the magician here for the beloved Scorpios? And right now we have um, Shaka Khan and Grandmaster... Um, Melly Mel, and this is called I Feel For You. So yeah, this person feels for you, so they could be like in your energy, just as I said. You may feel their energy. You may be picking up on like intuitive hits. And it's because this person is like still stalking, still watching, still thinking of you, probably looking at pictures of you, looking at old videos, songs, you know, because they do love you. I feel like they love you, but I do feel like this person is still like they are a player. They enjoy playing, you know, this is just their energy and they keep a lot of secrets. They don't tell you the whole truth. You know, they hide a lot of, you know, a lot from you. You you don't even know what the hell the full, you know, backstory It's just you're intuitive. So, you know, in that regard, because you know without knowing, but they've never sat back, you know, sat you down and really explained to you in detail or really apologize. And you see how I, I still haven't gotten my message. So this person definitely be biting their tongue a lot. They don't tell you everything. They hide more than they actually share. But you having some sort of victory lap right here. We got a Nipsey Hustle singing victory lap. So I feel like this person is watching you, as I said, having some sort of success. You know, they may see you as a star right now because you could be getting some sort of recognition. You're very attractive. And it's almost like because you've moved on, because you ain't sweating this, you know, sweating them, because you ain't chasing them, because you ain't, you know, you you are not perturbed either way. It's like, oh, you want her, go get it. Oh, you want him, go get him. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be sitting here crying myself to sleep at night. Like, you kept it pushing, you know, went and, and took that energy and you channeled it into something else. And so that's why this person is coming back damn near begging, pleading. So, you know, because it's like they realize, like, damn, I don't let a darn piece go for this shit. It's like if this bitch is cheating with you, what you think she's going to do with you when you, you when you wife her up or when you wife him up? They're going to be cheating. They're like, the way you got them is the way you're going to lose them. And this is exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? So these handcuffs, it's like she lying to herself. You know what I'm saying? She think he's staying there for her. He's staying there for the goods. He's staying there for all that free sex. You know, remember Love for Free was playing by Jay-Z. So they're getting love for free. They're getting sex for free. They're getting Nick Johnson, you know, they're getting some head for free. You giving head for free. Like whatever the hell is going on. So why is this magician here, Divine Spirit of Love and Light? Thank you. All right. These cards just flew out with such force. So now they mad and shit because you setting your guard up and you have boundaries. <laughs> now they want to be mad at the motherfucker. But you have some sort of victory lap. I feel like you are right at the, you know, the point of obtaining something that you've been working for. So the first card we have is the Four of Swords. Healing from the heartbreak. Healing from the master manipulator. You know what I'm saying? Doing your due diligence to take onus, accountability, healing internally, soul searching, reflecting re, you know uh, you know reflecting and introspecting because that's the only way you could heal so this master manipulator had you duped for a while but now you're sitting here reflecting on everything that took place and you realize like oh shit like a part of this a lot of this was my fault because i allowed this person to come back and sing me them whack-ass sob stories and tell me all the things i wanted to hear and it was because they knew how to pull on your heartstrings but not anymore now you got your back turned to the master manipulator because you're trusting your own intuition and because you've learned from these past mistakes or these past experiences because it's not really a mistake you know whatever you go through you're going to grow through it as long as you're paying attention and you're learning in the process if you just constantly repeating cycles you ain't learning shit and you're going to keep on in that cycle until you set have that aha moment so I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all learn. That's why you turned your back on this person. And that's why I feel like you're in balance, in harmony, and in equilibrium. And if you look here, there's two like cha chalices. So this is like, you know, what the what the cup of love would be. And you see how there's something growing in there? So that's how long your cup has went unfulfilled. So long that there's earth growing out of it. So this speaks to you, you know, having to ground yourself and purge and heal, you know, for, from whatever wasn't serving your highest good. So that's powerful. That's the work you was doing. Due diligence. So next we have this um, five of pentacles. And this is clarifying the five of chalices. So look at this. You know, feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. And that's why this person's coming in. Remember in the beginning of the reading, you already had the five of pentacles. And that's when I was putting these two together, saying five and five. But now we have, again, this five of pentacles cl clarifying and confirming this is what took place. You were abandoned and left out in the cold while they were sitting there, you know, playing house with this bitch. Or this motherfucker. Like they was out there really, you know, working hard. And we got fabulous playing cuffing season. So they done got cuffed. See these handcuffs? You can't make this shit up. We got fabulous. <laughs> they thought they was going to have a fabulous life with this damn incubus, succubus energy. You know what I'm saying? So they got cuffed, literally. This is cuffing season with the handcuffs. And it's because they thought they was heading somewhere little did they know that they was being led by demons look at these demons you know what i'm saying it's almost like it's almost like sheeple you know what i'm saying they're not thinking for themselves they're just kind of being you know kind of like led astray so this person was led astray from you from off their path you know what i'm saying and this is how you initially felt but it's because they were allowing some incubus succubus outside entity energy to interfere with your connection and so now they want to come back saying, please, baby, baby, please. Now they want to come back singing them I coulda, shoulda, woulda songs. You know what I'm saying? And you just simply like, you're like, eh, vacant. Don't, you're like, nobody's there. Nobody's home. I don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they weren't, they weren't focused on the right things. You know, they weren't focused on you. So next we have this five of wands. Look at this. Five of wands ruled by their phallus. Allowing themselves to be tantalized by that ass, that booty. You know what I'm saying? Not having no self-control, not having no dignity, no integrity, not being loyal or faithful because this broad done came around and called them 
because they knew you and this person was having difficulties or having di you know problems and so they inserted themselves in between this connection but this five of wands listening to all the wrong people the dun -da -dunts, being led astray having all this competition and this is what happened and they got they got caught up in the rapture she was telling him all the things he wanted to hear look how he's being mesmerized and he's submitting you know what I'm saying? So she's painting the story. Look, I could do this for you. I do that. She's putting the sex on him good. And what you think is going to happen when she get him? All that shit going to stop. <laughs> That's what, you know what I'm saying? When you got to wear a mask, when people meet your the, your representative, when you meet people's representative, they only maintain that role until they accomplish what the goal is, which is to get you. And then once they have you, they'll put their claws in you and then they'll do this. They'll cuff your ass. That's why a lot of good brothers get, you know, caught up. With these bird ass broads because they go for the dudes that they know got the money, security. So what do they do? They're going to dress the best. They're going to put the sex on them the best. And as soon as that brother get that girl pregnant, all of that shit they was doing in the beginning to get that brother, it stops. She automatically, she got amnesia. She don't know how to cook a meal no more. All of a sudden she let herself go. She ain't doing all of the dolling up. and the, it's, it's just like it's roles reversed. Same with the feminines. A dude may come through very chivalrous, charming, speaking to you very well, opening up car doors, doors, being, you know, very thoughtful and kind. As soon as they got you and they done had the, the booty, it's like, oh, that shit go out the door. They slamming the door in your face and shit. you like, well, damn, I'm right here. And they're like, oh, my bad. And keep walking and looking in their phone because now they on to the next. And this is exactly what this person did. They done got duped, gaffled, played, bamboozled, you know what I'm saying, by somebody who, you know, they pretended very well. They, they was, wearing, you know, painting these beautiful, you know, illusions. And we have I can so she knew she could get away with this shit because she knew what she was dealing with. This person was very easily manipulated. You know, the same way they were, you know, manipulating you, they attracted someone else that was, you know, very, um, very um, masterful in manipulating. So they attracted what they were. She held a mirror up. That could also be why there's this moon energy here because this is like a reflection. The moon reflects. You know what I'm saying? What's in the waters is reflective by the moon, the glow of the water. And you can't even see the other side of the moon. So that's why there's things hidden. And so this woman was holding up a mirror reflection of who he was or vice versa. This woman, this man was holding up a mirror reflection of who this woman was. And so they fell for the okie doke. So much so they submitted their will, threw up their hands, praising the bitch. Oh my God, that's the best sex I ever had. Oh my God, that's the best meal. Meanwhile, back at the motherfucking ranch, that bitch was doing, like, she was putting, um, she was making witches brew. You know what I'm saying? And feeding that shit to this brother just to keep him cuffed, just to keep him stuck. You know what I'm saying? Putting period blood in the food, doing all type of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is what had this man stuck on stupid. And this is the wickedness that women do. That's why you brothers can't be falling for the biggest, fattest booty. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, I'm telling you, even sisters, like, don't be falling for a motherfucker just because they look good. Looks don't mean shit these days. You, once you take off all that hair weave and them nails, them eyelashes, and all of that shit, it's like, what's there? If the heart ain't pure, if the heart isn't right, then you really don't, you ain't working with nothing. And same with the brothers. Like, would the brother be that fine if he wasn't driving a BMW, da 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? Some women, it's like, they be like, oh my God, he's so fine. Meanwhile, like 10 years ago, he wouldn't have been attractive if he was working at, you know, subways and driving a Honda. But now because, you know, he's driving this BMW and he appears to be super, you know, super well off. Now he's so fine. Like, come on now. The superficialities is what get people caught up in these scenarios. You know, so let's ta let's tap and tune in. Let's see what else we got coming and going out going on. Why is this eight of chalices here? You said, I know I can love myself better than this person. And that's why you're moving forward. You're keeping it pushing. That's why I said there's resistance here. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I done heard that story before. And where did you hear that story before here? When you got caught up in the rapture, you done fell for the same storyline. And here you just grew up. You know what I'm saying? So this is the before and this is the after. You don't learn. That's the five of chalices. You know, even though that's the pinnacles part of me, but still, that's the same vibration and energy. It's like, that's the same people that's wearing the same clothing. It's the same dude. It's the same female. Like, so this is the same person coming back with the same shit. And in your mind, what you're saying, your affirmation is, I can keep it pushing. I can be alone. <laughs> I am not that desperate to go back to this shit. No. 
So Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is this Eight of Chalices? I cannot take 45 cards. Okay, they said take them because it looks like there's three and three. And look at this. Deception. Manipulation. Gaslighting. This Seven of Swords, somebody is like literally spying, stalking. They have it out for someone. And this could be the karmic spying in on this person because this is the book right here. It's almost as if, and he knows, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like he's trying to break free. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to break free from something or he's he knows his life is in jeopardy, which is why he has this gun here. You know what I'm saying? This is that God you now. So and then he has this book. So it's almost as if he's learned something about this karmic. You know what I'm saying? But this karmic knows she's like she's in on the fact that this person could potentially be looking to leave, looking to separate themselves from this situation or even looking to return back to, um, you know, their person. But this person here is now they have a vendetta. There's some level of anger, frustration. And we have moment of truth. So this is the moment of truth. And we have this um, fool. Look at the fool. 4444. Four, four, four. So this message is for somebody out there. Some of y'all could be seeing 444. Four, four. Some of y'all could have turned 44. Some of y'all could have turned 44 on November 8th. So happy belated solar return. But this right here is saying that this person... Is not going to make no fool of you because you already had that aha moment, that epiphany, according to Gangstar. We have moment of truth. So you've had that moment of truth. And that's why there's resistance because you're not going to be a fool for anyone else. This person is trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. And you also may feel, like I said, that person, you know, your ex or whomever this is, still has this uh, mistress. You know what I'm saying? This other person is still in the picture somewhere. Keeping them bound because these these cuffs are here. So they may come back to you singing this sob story like, yo, I want to come back home. Meanwhile, they still trapped mentally. And this is what they trying to do to you, to be honest with you. They trying to keep you stuck in this mental mind fuckery. Like, you know, having you confused and conflicted and questioning yourself. And with this moment of truth, you already had that epiphany. That's why you're resisting. Like, nah, I'm good. You know, I'm like, <laughs> leave me alone. Like, stop. No, she does not look into this. She got to look at the body language. And he's putting it on thick. He's laying it on thick like, nah, I've changed. And she's like, look, I don't want to hear the words, beloved. I need to see the action. You coming at me the same way you did before with all of this sexual tension. That shit don't excite me. I need to see something different because I done grew up. <laughs> I've matured. I done put that work in. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Big Daddy Kane said, I get the job done. You done did your job by soul searching, healing at a soul level, he you know, healing past pains, traumas, and they coming back with the same old game. It's like, damn, you ain't grow enough, none. Yeah. And so look at this. The two, look at it. What is that? The two of pentacles now. So this is this. See this? This person was absolutely entrapped in a situation with somebody that literally came in between a very sacred union and now that person the karmic is trying to take them out maybe with the truth because they're holding this kind of like this dagger this knife so they're trying to hit them with the truth and remember this is the moment of truth so they done figured out that this situation was just all based off sex that their that your past person isn't interested in them anymore it was only the sex that kept them there and now they got it out for your person your ex whoever that person is and that's why this person is trying to double back because it is not a happy home they ain't a happy camper no more you know what i'm saying all of this fun that they was having with this person it's almost as if they've had a grand epiphany here like they woke up to the fact that they was being duped and played and look at the face of this person like this is a motherfucking scary bitch like she is a scary hateful bitch they probably found some shit under their chair because bitches be putting shit and hiding all type of shit in people's couches and doing honey spells and all type of shit. And they probably stumbled upon something and realized this bitch trying to take me out. You know what I'm saying? Like they realized they didn't even have free will because somebody was manipulating their energy. You know what I'm saying? And look at this book. They learned something here. This is the same book that was sitting on the table here. <laughs> So they done learned something. They, this book is open, the page, and now that the woman realized, or the karmic, I keep saying the woman, but now that this karmic realized they done learned the truth, they trying to take them out. So they could be trying to defame their character. They could be trying to spread lies. They might even try to reach out to whoever the ex is of this masculine or feminine to try to reveal some truth, to, 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 to expose something about this person because this moon is all about exposing whatever is hidden comes to light. And so she might tell all the freaky deaky tales about when this person was absent, when they were supposed to be with you. 
You know what I'm saying? Or maybe there might be even some truth about, you know, some missing money. Anything. It could be anything. And right now we have call me. So some of y'all might get a call from a karmic. And she going to spill the beans. She going to tell all the deets. She going to give you all the deets. Why? Because she's trying to hurt this man now. She's trying to hurt or he's trying to hurt this woman now. He wants the, the, the karmic wants the other woman or the other man to know just how dirty they were. And they know how dirty they were because they was enticing them to be dirty. They had them cuffed. They know that they was manipulating their energy. Look at this shit. Stop playing. This is crazy. And now we have the seven of chalices. Choices, options. You know what I'm saying? Sitting back, looking at all of the things you've been through. Having so much confusion now because it's like, okay, I done ended this shit. And now I'm presented with all these options. It's almost like you have some sort of wish fulfillment from the divine. You know what I'm saying? But you have to use some discernment. You have to use some sort of... Um, you know, you have to be clear minded in terms of where to go, what to do, because it's almost as if the divine is creating this beautiful reality for you. You know, you've already completed a cycle. The 10 represents an ending. It's done. It's fin. So now, you know, you have your back turned to this, you know, this disappointing ending. And now it's like you have all of these other options. And it's like, what are you going to choose? You know, and with this call me, it's like the divine is telling you, look, you know, use this time to meditate. Use this time to ground yourself so that you can make a clear decision. You know, I feel like somebody is absolutely going to get a phone call from somebody who was treating, you know, from that karmic. And that karmic was definitely one of many options. I feel like you was treated like an option. This karmic's going to be mad, you know, because you don't put the past behind you. You over that shit. You like, yeah, all right, whatever. I'm better off. You sitting here chilling, smoking on your pipe, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about opportunities, you know, future opportunities. But this right here is telling me that, you know, this 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 little situation here with that past person and their karmic um, has ended ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's turned into a shit show. And somebody may get a phone call. I'm serious because Tweet is uh, singing Call Me. And so we have, look at this message on the bottom of this deck. I'm using the Kipper right now to further clarify so someone may call you. You may receive a message. And I feel like some of y'all got a secret admirer also. I feel like you're attracting someone that's on your frequency and vibration. Because when you change your vibration, when you change, you know what I'm saying, your energy, when you heal, when you level up, then you're going to attract someone on your frequency. And that's why you're resisting this old shit because this shit don't, this is not your love language no more. Somebody grabbing and kissing on you and shit, like whatever that used to be, you know, however it worked before, it doesn't work for you no more because you realize what your love language is. And your love language could simply be communication, honesty, you know what I'm saying, trust, you know what I'm saying, and a certain type of touch, not this aggressive shit grabbing your fucking wrists. It's like, nigga, if you don't get your fucking hands off of me, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Grabbing on me like that. But let's see what we got. See, this person ain't doing so well. Now they sick in the head. They sick in the head because it's like, you know, this person definitely had a lot of, um, they was, they was very masterful in manipulating. You know what I'm saying? They knew how to play the game. They knew how to keep, now they sit. You know what I'm saying? Now there's a sense of them being sick. You know, maybe they had you sick. This 31 reduces to four. So there was a level of instability here. You know what I'm saying? And it was unstable because this person was constantly flighty in and out and they weren't committing. And I feel like this could have been you in the past. You know, it was causing you to be, you know, off, you know, like kind of out of your equilibrium. And we have um, um, little Kim. What is this? Oh, this is a skit. Um, so we have Bobby Brown tender um, tenderoni. So, yeah, they done found them another little sweet tenderoni here while they was on one of their little escapades. You know what I'm saying? Romanticizing somebody else and you found out about it and that had you sick. And when you, you know what I'm saying? When they would come back around after they done dipped off for a week or two and come back, they would serenade you, sing you another sob story, and then you'd fall right back into the okie doke. And that's what led to some level of mental sickness, anxiety, stress, frustration. But I feel like you've since found your... Um, you know, you've since, you know, uh, regained your bearings. You know what I'm saying? You're not as um, affected by this anymore because it's been, you know, it's come to you. And we see this expectation here. So there was absolute ex expectation of getting married. We see that her, she's looking out into this church. There's a church across the street. So you had expectations of this connection, um, you know, growing uh, to be more um, serious, more committed, you um, 
you know, because of the time and the energy you invested. But I feel like with this 28, we see clearly that something ended. All right. And so, so what we have, what's going on? And on the bottom of the deck, see, this is actually, okay, I see what's going on. Okay, those were all flipped up. So these are going to clarify all of these. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is a gift. So you do have a gift coming in from the divine. And this is like wish fulfillment. The 17 reduces to eight. And so this is like wish fulfillment. This is something you've been praying for, hoping for, calling in because you've changed your vibration. And because of that, you're being rewarded, recognized by the divine. This could come into the form of you, you know, having somebody else come in and, and court you and treat you right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's going to see you like they tenderoni. They're going to be very tender with you, very caring, very loving. So that's beautiful. I love that. And so this expectation, that's what you had. You, was, you had deep expectation. Um, but unfortunately, you know, the pain... From being manipulated, from being with a narcissist, uh, someone who was very controlling, someone domineering, you know, that's, this is what you would, you know, hoping for something else. But you, you ended in um, pain, you ended in hurt. And this right here, you can see like a face here. So I feel like the divine has noticed everything you've gone through, which is why that gift is waiting for you, because the divine is watching and noticing, taking note of the healing. You know what I'm saying? Taking note of the time and that you've invested in a connection with somebody who did not reciprocate, did not appreciate. You know what I'm saying? And this simply was just not unrequited because this was a master manipulator. They just wanted what they want. But I feel like now you see everything very clear. You're looking at everything with a different pair of eyes. And we have the train going by. So that's confirmation. So you all have gained some sort of epiphany, aha moment. And that's why you're moving on to bigger and better. And you're moving on to bigger and better because you understand now why it was you went through what you went through. And look at this. The journey begins. New journey. You know what I'm saying? And look here. So being abandoned, left out in the cold and treated, you know, as an option has led to you saying, like, I got to make this change. You know what I'm saying? I got to look at the woman in the mirror, the man in the mirror, and I got to keep myself pushing. You know what I'm saying? So you finalize the situation. You made peace with leaving this scenario behind because you realize, like, you know, if this shit does not... Um, serve you, you know, having somebody treat you like an option, these two fives reduced to 10, and this is 10. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for many of you all, you finalized this connection and you finally, you know, moved away. Some of y'all relocated just to create space and distance, you know, to create like a more safer haven to, you know, create your own kind of like sacred space or sanctuary just so you can heal. But I feel like you are, you know, you began a new spiritual journey, which brought a lot of enlightenment and truth. And I feel like you were more tender and, and caring and loving of yourself on this journey. I feel there's also great distance that you've created between you and this past person as necessary. And with that train, I feel like you made some great strides, like you moved forward with your life. You took action. This person here, poverty. Look at this. This is what's coming to them. This is the karmic lesson they're receiving. Because they, they toyed around with the devil. They danced with the devil. You know what I'm saying? They slept in the bed of the devil himself. And they fell for the okie doke. And this is why they're bound and stuck. And they're receiving karma for the way they treated you. So they could be struggling. You know what I'm saying? This feminine could have been using them for money, sex, you know, doing whatever they could to get what they wanted. Incubus, succubus energy will suck you dry. And then when you have nothing left to give, they're on to the next victim. And this person is left... With nothing, penniless, poverty. They're struggling, can't pay their bills. They probably giving up goddamn, you know, blood to get money, donating blood for money. I'm hearing that. Somebody's like that desperate. You know what I'm saying? And this is someone that, you know, you this could have been like your childhood sweetheart, somebody you knew for years. And that's why it was just like so heartbreaking that this person would just up and leave you. But I feel like it was because they were like literally um, they was dealing with like incubus. And this person did some love spells with that, with those handcuffs there. They had them cuffed. Talking about cuffing season. You know what I'm saying? That person like they was, you know, they had money. They was looking good. And then when they when they got with this bitch, oh, my God, are this mofo? That, it was the end of that. So now we have wealthy man. 
So this could be why there's resistance because you have a new wealthy man that has their eyes on you. And this person from the past could be coming back at the same time this wealthy man is entering your life. The wealthy man could be a wealthy woman. Whoever it is, this is somebody that's going to be very solid, very determined to court you, to treat you right. So this resistance is you saying like, nah, I'm good. And you know that this person's only coming back because they're bound and stuck. They're a little crazy, obsessed, crazy, deranged crazy and possessive of you it's almost like they don't want you to move on with their life and they still want to be able to play with this 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 nasty broad or this nasty dude they still want to be able to come and go and have like this revolving door and you're like hell no because you're protecting your energy you're not allowing demon seeds to come back into your life it's just not happening and so this person look at them bound and stuck and that's because they got these cuffs on their ass they are cuffed to this person because there is some sort of spell work or some sort of hex that they have on them and it's driving them insane but I feel like they're slowly but surely getting some sort of clarity there's some sort of illumination because this light is shining down so there is an epiphany and that's why they're trying to come back to you and we have light blue playing by Thelonious Monk so see that as I'm speaking about the light shining down on the crown chakra we have Thelonious Monk singing light blue and this is jazz. He ain't singing shit. He's playing them instruments. So with this light blue and light is illumination. Blue is the color of the throat chakra. So I feel like this person is getting some sort of epiphany to communicate. That's why they're coming towards you. They're having this epiphany. They realize what they was bound to, what they was stuck to. You know what I'm saying? And now they're kind of rushing in and they're coming on a little too strong. You know, they may be expressing themselves, telling you what was going on, revealing to you what was happening that, you know, and you knew without knowing, but you're attracting this wealthy man, somebody very stable. This could be your energy, Scorpio, because the 13 is your vibration in traditional tarot. That's the death card. So I feel like you've transformed into someone who's very financially literate. You're a money, you know, you're a money manifester, like a money magnet, like you done got your coins up because not only did you heal yourself, you've learned to manage your money. You've learn to invest that energy into something positive some of y'all was into stock some of y'all was doing bitcoin some of y'all was learning a little about your 401k and how to move the money around opening up iras like you started to focus on your money and some of y'all are just simply attracting someone who is very financially set this person is very attracted to you they can have anyone anything they want but they got their eyes locked in on you and i feel like that's why there's this resistance with this past person because remember we already went with the we already saw that that past person is the same person who opened up the cards i mean opened up the reading this was that bonus message this is the same person in the past they was able to do this now not so much because why you've grown you've evolved you changed and that five will definitely i mean that eight definitely will tell you that because that eight vibration is like the star and the star turns all of their vulnerabilities into their superpower they transmute all of the negative energy they heal and they purge and they ground themselves and this person loves what they see because you're grounded balanced and in a line that's beautiful and so now we have mature man so you're attracting a very mature man i feel like you know with this energy here this person is very much aware. I feel like this person has matured from this experience also. Like something has changed and transformed in them since being um, in this toxic ass connection. They're realizing like, damn, I was my worst enemy. I attracted what I was. The same shit that just happened to me is what I did to my love, to the one that I actually love. And so they are growing and evolving from this situation. And I feel like they know there's distance between the two of you, but there's something within them that has matured. There's something Something within them that has like this light bulb has gone on because we have light blue so I feel like they've had that a pulp that um, epiphany or that you know aha moment you know kind of click in their brain and they're seeing like the error in their ways all the secrets the lies they may even come back and you know be mature and give you the closure or answer the questions or tell you what it is um, that was really going on um, because there's a level of guilt there's a level of shame because they have matured so this person is realizing like who they thought that that karmic was simply wasn't because they realized this person was stealing from them or lying or doing things behind their back and so now they're learning the hard way like damn I never went through that with my Scorpio and um, so we have this gift here so they may give you a gift like an actual gift like we saw there was some flowers so they could try to potentially like gift you with these flowers this bouquet of flowers you know trying to woo you trying to be kind hearted 
or this could simply just mean that you know you're receiving a gift from the divine something tangible because of the work and um, and that work was you finalizing something that was simply not working for your greatest good. And remember, with these the seven of cups, this is like you know having so many options, but needing to use discernment um, to make a choice because not every um, option is going to be a good option. And so the divine is hand delivering something that absolutely will be especially. Um, you know, especially made for you. So why is the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Chalices here for my beloved Scorpios? I was trying to keep this reading under one hour. But you know, I like to do deep dives, baby. I'm a Scorpio for a reason. So we got a couple of messages here. And they were all, look at this. All right, so there's nothing else upright, okay? In the bottom of the deck, you're going to have a victory. This is breakthroughs. This is success. This is forward movement. This could also speak to or insinuate this marriage in your future. Trust your intuition. It's going to lead you to some for some sort of victory. And we have Aaliyah. I'm sorry, Lucy Pearl dance tonight. So I feel like there's going to be a victory and you're going to be very excited. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to be jumping up for joy is what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. And I feel like it's because, you know, maybe something comes out. You know, because remember, I was picking up on somebody having a child out of wedlock, maybe twins, maybe somebody had a baby. Like I was saying, um, ghetto twins. And I feel like this false person, maybe, you know, this, this, um, you know, whoever you were with, maybe this false person, this karmic lied about a child and something's going to come to light. They're going to realize, you know, this truth. Maybe somebody's going to reveal the fact that there was, um, in fact, a baby that was born out of wedlock or something happened behind the scenes that someone isn't aware of. And this is somebody that you was planting seeds, roots, a nucleus with. I feel like someone may also discover that a child is not theirs because remember, with that energy we saw... It was like this person had learned something and that's why the feminine uh, or that's why this energy here because you see this book. So maybe somebody got a DNA test. You know what I'm saying? And with those infinity symbols, it's like now they see the possibilities, the potential. Um, they've learned, you know, tremendously from, you know, creeping and sleeping with anything with a box or anything with a cute face, you know. You know, they learned you can't trust a big butt and a smile. Remember in the, in the intro of the reading, it was like that person was just all tantalized by that fat ass. So maybe that's what led that person going down that dark road. But with this dance tonight, somebody's going to learn maybe that um, a child is not theirs that they thought was theirs. And this is going to bring some level of excitement. This masculine and this feminine were both being um, deceptive to one another. He's wearing a mask and she's hiding her face. So there's a sense of both of them was being deceptive not only to one another but also they were deceiving themselves and I feel like this you know feminine energy if she did um, get pregnant she may have had this masculine thinking that they were the father um, thinking that this was their child and then the masculine did some research may have did a mouth swab of the child or may have done something um, behind the scenes to determine whether or not they were the father and they realized it wasn't so this is someone I feel like you know with this family room this is someone that was close and knitted with you. Um, this 21 definitely is showing me that there was a third party, even though you may have shared a home um, with this person here. And it's because this person had a bunch of options elsewhere. Um, and this was distraught and broke the camel's back for you all. But you, somebody's dancing for joy, dancing up for joy. We see this victory, success, major breakthrough, something coming to light like, oh, shit, it's done. I'm not the daddy. You know, you know, I'm not the father or whatever. So let's see what we got. Let's um, get some messages from numerology. I'm going to pick up some oracle messages and then we're going to wrap it up. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot, baby. Some of y'all might be getting hot, heated. You know, we got love partnerships. So you're absolutely coming into a beautiful union connection with someone. And I feel like y'all going to be elated. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all like to go out and dance. Do a nice little two-step with this person. You know? But there's a nice little chemistry energy. And we was picking up on that with, you know, when we was, um, you know, shuffling the deck. It felt like you was meeting somebody that was more lighthearted. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light. It's almost like they know what you've been through, what you've come through. So they want to be everything, um, you know, that that last person wasn't. You know what I'm saying? In a good way. And so now we have Let's Get High, and this is by Dr. Dre, uh, Corrupt. So some of y'all, you know, if you don't smoke a little herb, you know, and if you don't drink a little drinky drink, some of y'all just high on life. 
you know y'all are just high on life finding more adventure being more spontaneous you know just taking risks doing fun things so let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beloved beloved scorpios we're gonna pull three messages bottom of the deck we have happy ending so you absolutely are gonna have a happy happy ending and i feel like it's because you're ending a situation that was karmic you're completing a karmic cycle so there is a very happy ending for you and i feel like that's why somebody is wanting to celebrate because remember first you had um you had um let's dance what was the name of that it was um dance tonight by lucy pearl and now we got let's Hi let's get high so it's like you know there's a, some form of celebration you know what i'm saying wanting to have fun you know maybe there's some sort of um reuniting with some folks you know what i'm saying on the bottom of the deck we got health so i feel like a lot of y'all you know have uh started to you know trust your own intuition because this 71 um definitely tells me like you know whatever prayers petitions um that you've been setting up to the ethers uh while you were in some sort of mental conflict because that reminds me of the eight of swords we saw i feel like you know you're now finding you know equilibrium so you're now in harmony um you're now trusting of your intuition and i say that because you know this person inside of this powerful symbol so I do feel like you know a lot of you are you know very powerful in terms of listening and trusting your intuition now and you're not so much allowing people to um, manipulate you emotionally psychologically mentally um, you know as they used to in the past so this happy ending you're definitely gonna have a very beautiful happy ending so what other messages you have let me get two more messages so trust that you all are musicians this message has come out I think for the second third fourth time by now I mean this year could have been the hundredth time you know according to all the readings I've done but you all absolutely have a gift in um, music this is something you're very passionate about and I feel like this is something that makes you feel you know very fulfilled you know what I'm saying emotionally this is something that you know it's very simplistic it makes you feel like that's your safe place is creating music and I feel like with this 32 to, there's something changing with your music maybe you're going to start finding that you're getting more downloads if you have your music on like apple music or if you have a youtube channel you're going to start seeing your views your subscribers kind of pick up and it's because whatever you're doing it's like a spiritual gift this is something you're called to do this is a part of your soul mission i feel like you all are not into like um the dark music like per se i feel like a lot of you are like making like um soul music i call it soul music just like you have soul food um and soul food is like to me in my opinion is like you know things that are like more plant-based that are you know um vegan um you know healthy that grows from the earth um so that's like soul food to me other people might say like cornbread and macaroni and cheese and chitlins and shit like that is soul food but Nah, your soul is fed by what's grown from earth, in my opinion. This is my opinion. I'm a, I'm entitled. So I feel like for you all, whoever this music card um, resonates with, I feel like you all make soul music. Um, whether you're a conscious artist. Um, I don't like those titles, conscious and... Um, you know um neo soul and it's just soul music it's just soul music it can be rock rap jazz it's soul music it speaks to the soul of people and so i feel like that's why these cards of music keeps coming up sarasvati shows up a lot in the um goddess guidance deck for you all so a lot of you are musicians your writers your artists your singers you are producers uh you are hip-hop artists you are someone that needs to tap into this this um this gift this skill hone it uh because music is your sanctuary so hone that gift because it's going to change your life right now we have the spook that sat by the door and this is by herbie hancock so a lot of y'all are playing you know you know playing possum um so that you can perhaps learn something or accomplish something so you're not showing your hand um if some of y'all didn't see that movie you might want to check it out the spook that sat by the door it's really dope you know what i'm saying but um some of you all that could be one of your favorite movies or maybe some of you all like i said are kind of like you know i don't want to say playing possum because that's like playing dead but it's like you're almost like kind of being um incognito in a sense soaking up everything you could maybe some of y'all are kind of like um going to studios learning everything you can about engineering and you're taking everything you're learning and you're applying it in your own home-based studio that way you can save money 
you know what I'm saying, for, you know, all of them studio sessions. So it's like you're, you're soaking up some level of information here is what I'm picking up with this spook that sat by the door. Okay, so Divine Spirit of Love and Light. They have a message for our beloved Scorpio, Scorpios. One more message for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit of Love and Light. They get one more message for our beloved Scorpios. One more message for our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have Patience. So Patience, beloved, that's a form of action. And good things take time to create is another thing I'm hearing. But you're coming into a spiritual partnership. Somebody that's always been, that's also been down the same path, had the same experiences. And that's why they're going to be very sensitive. That's why they're going to speak your love language. But there's a very sacred union, sacred connection, a very spiritual connection. And this person is also someone who's coming to you whole. They've also been through many, many life changes and experiences. And they've also grown. And I feel like the two of you may communicate telepathically, intuitively. There's going to be some level of like, you know, when you're around someone for a long time, it's almost like y'all can you know, complete one another's sentences. That's what this relationship is going to develop into. And this is somebody that you're going to pray with, play with, and lay with. This is a beautiful connection because this is someone who's also on that frequency. They're also into esoteric, metaphysical. So it's not going to spook them out. With the spook that sat by the door, I do feel like this is somebody you may already know or are acquainted with, or maybe this is somebody with whom is a past life love. So that's beautiful. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Hey, hey. All right. Now we're going to do goddess guidance. Goddess guidance. Let's see what we got. Maybe y'all going to like to dance and sing and listen to music. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be like in your own world. I just kind of see y'all being like, you know, homie lovers and friends. Like y'all can just do everything together. You know, we got medicine woman here. So many of you are intuitives. You're healers, shamans, light workers. A lot of you receive a lot of divine interventions, downloads, transmissions, you know what I'm saying? Trust your intuition because you're highly intuitive. You have prosperity coming in for you, beloveds. And this is like a blessing from the divine themselves. Like the divine himself is blessing you, pouring out abundance. And you just have to be open to receive it. I feel like that's a reward for everything you've been through. Remember, you had that gift card and you also had high honors here. You know, so be mindful of shifty mofos coming around, grimy mofos coming around because they could smell a motherfucker with money. And that could be why this master man, this master manipulator is coming around talking about, hey, you know, how are you? Because we got Nas saying, hey, Nas. So somebody might just DM you out of the blue, ain't heard from him in five months, a year, two years. Talking about, hey, no. And that's because they could smell a motherfucker with money. They could see you coming up. So let's see. All right. I feel good with that shuffle. All right, Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What else we got for our beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck, Sullis. This card has come out a couple of times for y'all. So spend some time by bodies of water. I feel like you're releasing something or you're feeling recharged when you go by bodies of water. There's a sense of like healing. There's a healing element to being by your element or near your element. Maybe you're taking spiritual baths right now. Maybe some of you are receiving divine downloads in showers. You know, you're getting some sort of messages come through. But with Hey Nas, I do feel like there's some sort of um, transmissions or even an activation, you know, that comes that happens by the bodies of water. So definitely spend some time by body water. I don't know if you have a river or a lake or an ocean. If you have the luxury of living in a beach town, definitely take it to the beach. I don't care how cold it is. I feel like you're going to receive some really powerful uh, transmissions from spirit. OK, so that's beautiful. And it's also recharging your batteries. Um, it helps for you to, you know, connect um, you know, to your higher self. So let's see what we got coming in. Let me get three messages. So what else do you have for our beloved Scorpios from the Goddess Guidance deck? Okay, so we have, look at that. Expect a miracle, beloveds. Mother Mary is assuring that there's a miracle coming in. And I feel this miracle is not happening by happenstance. They received all of the prayers, the petitions. They received every entry you set, you put in top, inside of your manifestation journals. Like they received every prayer. And now it's being answered. And everything happens in divine timing, which is why you had this you know, this uh, patience card, because you've been patiently waiting for this. This is a beautiful, beautiful message. And you also have underneath that, 
you know, this domestic harmony. So this could very well be speaking to, you know, this miracle, whatever this miracle is. I feel like it's going to bring a lot of elation. I also feel like a lot of you are going to have some sort of miracle take place in your musical career or with your music in some way, shape, form or fashion, as well as in your love life, in your finances. You know, things are just going to start opening up and expanding for you. And it's because you've put in the work and because you finalized, you know, this completion, you know, you finalized this karmic cycle. You completed this, this karmic lesson. Spend some quiet time. Use this time now to really ground yourself. Use this time now to really assess your next steps, you know, to really strategize, you know, your next steps, the next course of direction you wish to go. You know, because there may be a sense that someone may be coming back, trying to double back. And this is someone very sneaky and snaky. This is that person that's in despair right now because they done got got by that, that bird-ass karmic. You know what I'm saying? That duck-ass karmic. You know what I'm saying? So now they want to come back. And you're going to have to trust your intuition. We see here that you're vibrating at a high frequency. And you've done a lot to, like, fortify like your auric field so you're very sensitive you could feel and pick up on energy around you and i feel like there's also downloads divine interventions that you're receiving as well you know what i'm saying and you're just trusting the process as you go and i feel like you know with meditation and contemplation great things will come to you this is another card telling you to spend some time by bodies of water some of you may need to do some detoxification um, of your body, you know what I'm saying? We're about to hit Thanksgiving. Remember what I was saying about soul food? So maybe some of y'all may need to cut it, cut back on the beef eating because you know the beef takes so long to break down. And so maybe you need to just keep it on some fish and, chi um, fish and chicken if you need to have meat. Um, but I feel like there's a detox that's necessary. Um, and we have Chuck Brown and um, the Soul uh, Searchers, and this is called Busting Loose. So I feel like, you know, maybe some, you, you know, some of y'all feel like you're busting out of your clothes right now. You know, you're not able to fit those jeans you was able to fit in the beginning of the year. And maybe it's because maybe you might need to, you know, do a quick detox. You know, because sometimes when, when you see a lot of, you know, that, that, you know, when you see that your stomach is, um, you know, got that little pooch. You know, maybe it's because, you know, some, some of your food isn't breaking down. So you might need to do like a seven day or 21 day detox, you know, just kind of like, you know, give your body a reset. You know what I'm saying? But with this purification, I do feel like this also um, in regards to like your mind, body and soul. This is going to help to like recalibrate and rejuvenate your spirit as well. And there's a sense of a rebirth with this beautiful bird here. And I also feel like you'll be able to be more connected, you know, to the divine. You know what I'm saying? You'll have more um, downloads, if you will, from the divine. But I'm going to leave it there because I could keep going on and on. You know how I do. <laughs> you know, I like to do deep dives because when I listen to, you know, um, you know, some of the readers that I listen to, I like I like people who go in. I don't like those little short stories, you know, and I don't do extendeds because my readings are extended. Um, I'm not knocking nobody's hustle, but I feel like, you know, if you're going to do a reading, do the reading. Don't cut it short. Um but that's just my my own belief. You know, that's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? This this is like service. This is my service to you all. So I cannot, um, you know, ask for anything more than your viewership, um, your sub. You know, you become soul families, uh, soul family members because, you know, that's the way you keep it circulating. So there is an exchange here. You're watching my video and helping to grow my channel. So I'm going to give you, you know, some food for thought. I'm going to give you a complete message and I will that the message resonates for you all um, if it doesn't as I said in the beginning like check your other placements you know um, but I do appreciate you all tuning in and tapping in thank you so much for tuning um, to the channel if you are new um, and if you found that the messages resonate I hope you stay a while um, definitely hit the like bell the, the, the I mean the like button um, the like share and subscribe and the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload um, for all of my return subbies you already know what it is beloved it's love is love is love. I thank you all and have a beautiful, beautiful holiday with your families. Be safe and um, until next time. Ashe.